Fortniters, Privileged Ones, hello and welcome back to the channel for another Fortnite episode. As per the title of this video, we're going to be going over the new replay system, showing you where the replay system in the game is on your game menu, how to get to it, because right now it's a little hidden. And we're going through the tutorial on how to actually run the replay system, whether you're on PC or console, and also later on down the road over on mobile. So before it comes to mobile, it is on console and PCs currently right now with version patch 3.5. Now, before we delve into the replay system, we are going to remove the webcam to get right into the replay system. But without further ado, every single month, I give away 10,000 V-Bucks. If you want to enter in for this monthly giveaway, all you got to do is be subscribed to the channel, show your support, smash the like button on this video, and then leave a comment down below on what your thoughts and opinions are towards the replay system inside of fortnite battle royale as always when you do subscribe make sure to hit the bell to turn on notifications to get notified when i upload a new video and i also live stream on twitch and youtube so make sure that those notifications are set as well because youtube is broken and the only way to get updates is if you have the bell clicked now for every single one of you Fortniteers out there, I want to delve into the replay system. Before we do that, though, you have to know where it is. So when you're on this screen in Battle Royale, you're going to want to move all the way over to Careers. You're going to see Profile, Leaderboards, and then Replays. You're going to want to enter the Replays menu, which is then going to showcase and highlight all of your previous games that you've played. We played a couple of them yesterday just to get some replays inside of our inventory so we can go and click on one. So right now we've got five games that we can click on. We've got two eliminations in this one. We've got one elimination in this one, one elimination in this one. And then we literally did a game where we just got completely destroyed um, right here. And then we did another game that we got completely destroyed. We didn't really go for any major gameplay clips, but we did, you know, just try to play casually and do a couple things in those games that we could play around with in the replay system. So I'm going to click on this video here because it's short, sweet, and to the point. It's three and a half minutes long. We've got one elimination in it. So I'm gonna click on this, and then we're gonna meet you back in the replay system after clicking on this without a webcam. Fortniters, the tutorial is about to begin because we are now in the replay system. The replay system in Fortnite is actually very technical. It's the best replay system I've seen in a game by far, and I cannot wait to show you how to use it. So to start off, we're gonna start off with a timeline down at the bottom. And when you jump into the replay system, this is what it's going to look like. And you can mess around with your mouse or your joysticks, and you can pan around your current character that you are using in the game. But that's not the important part right now. What the important part is, is that timeline down at the very bottom of the screen. So you're going to see the mini-map, or where the mini-map should be, and a bunch of arrows signifying players that are close to you. On top of that, you're going to see a little camera icon. That camera icon is going to showcase where the camera is facing. As you can see, it's spinning around right now as we pan around our character. And then the timeline down at the bottom is going to feature all of your tools and abilities inside the replay system to make some really awesome cinematics. If you wanna make cinematography movies and you want to actually make some really epic videos to upload to your YouTube channel or some really epic montages and you wanna get that B-roll going, then this is where you're gonna do that. Or if you're just a Fortnite player and you're trying to go pro and you're trying to get better and you're wondering why you're doing so bad, you can use the replay system to look upon your old footage and see where you went wrong. Or tell a teammate why they messed up as well. Maybe a teammate died and you could have told them, hey, this is what you did wrong. Look at this footage and maybe next time we will do better. So that is what the replay system is all about. That's the two major functions to actually use it for. Now let's delve into the tools. So down at the very bottom left of the screen is going to be the timeline and where it starts and the tools available. On the console, you're gonna to wanna to press down on the L3 button, which is going to be your left joystick. If you press that, then this is going to go away. The HUD is gone. This is where you're going to get your cinematics. This is where you're going to actually be able to get some really awesome shots. As you can see, I picked up that pump. I'm zooming into my character, and now look at that. I'm running, I'm switching my weapons, and it looks absolutely astounding, okay? We're gonna pause that really quick, zoom back out of our character, and we're gonna wanna press that exact same option that was on our timeline to get rid of the HUD to bring a portion of the HUD back. Here is going to be 
the exact same mini-map and the HUD that we would see inside the game if we were playing. Now, we're not in the game yet, so the mini-map isn't actually showcasing an actual map yet, but let's zoom out again with that, and then boom, there's our timeline again, and then do it again, and there's our mini-map again with the timeline. So, this is something to really keep track of, to keep note of. You want to be able to bring that up so you can look back at other options, and I want you all to actually memorize the, uh, these options too because memorizing the buttons and what you have to press and how to move is how you're going to create those cinematics and how you're going to want to create that awesome b-roll footage to actually record for say your montages or special videos on youtube next up is going to be the option for the camera so you're going to want to on the playstation press x if you're on the xbox it's going to be a and if you're on PC, it's whatever is underneath that option that is yellow on the timeline right now. So on the timeline, that button that is yellow currently right now and lit up, if I press X, it brings up this menu. It's going to be the exact same on every platform. Remember, replay is not available on mobile yet, but it's going to be the exact same on mobile as well, except there's going to be on-screen commands when you're on mobile. So auto exposure, aperture focal length and auto focus. These are different camera options and the auto exposure is if you turn it off, you'll be able to expose the light, how much light that lens is going to allow into the screen. So if you want a really bright, hey, I'm in the heavens video, here you go. If you want a really dark and I'm in the depths of hell video, then you're going to want to bring that aperture all the way down. And you can see that the orange on my actual Voyager character right now is actually still there because that's where the most light on the screen currently is. But let's bring it up a little bit. And you'll be able to see that the light slowly starts to form. And also, there you go. I'm blinding you guys. I'm blinding you. But we're going to bring that back down and we're going to also turn it off. We've also got aperture. Aperture is basically the focus on your lens and how much light you're actually letting into your lens to focus on a specific object this aperture is going to change the focus primarily on the character that you're trying to focus your camera on so in this case it's going to be my character now that focus isn't going to change very much unless you mess around with some other options so just remember that if you need to look up what aperture is i'll have an actual full detailed video explaining aperture focal length autofocus and exposure from one of my college professors at UB. So I actually studied this back when I went to UB and I took art classes because I was taking cinematography and photography and these are really important aspects to creating a really awesome film, to actually being able to create some really awesome footage. Then we've got the focal length and again focal length is going to be how much focus you have on a specific character so it's going to be the zoom on your lens okay and this will change manually with a certain option that's already available inside of the commands while you're actually using this so you don't really have to focus too much on focal length but it is there to mess around with next up is also autofocus and having autofocus on is great having autofocus on will focus on anything within a certain distance from where your camera is and it will also bring things out of focus as well so that's just something to take note of now i'm going to turn that off and it's not going to do too much right now because we're not in the right angle and we're not in the actual right uh distance from our character to really have that affect anything but it does affect stuff and i would like you to play around with it so you understand how these functions work with your camera in third person view all of these don't really work too well, but in first person view and the other things that you can do inside this, it's going to affect it heavily. Next up is on the controller for PlayStation. If you press R1, it switches over to another menu, which is nameplates. You can pull up nameplates on characters. You can also have player outlines and you can have a replay region, which is going to make a bunch of things really grayed out if you're not in that replay region. But to really get into this, I'm going to actually have to go over to another option really quick, and I'm going to have to fast forward to a game. So we're going to fast forward to the game, and it's going to load really quick, because we are actually getting into the game, and it's going to load all those characters in. We are trying to go to Tomato Town. There are a ton of people here, and that's going to be a problem. So here, we are now in the game. Okay, 
We are falling down to our deaths. And we are going to want to go all the way back over to the camera options. And then we're going to want to turn those on. And as you can see, you can see me. I'm the 27th player that actually jumped onto the bus or jumped into the game. And we're going to also do player outlines. We're going to also do the replay region. And as you can see, replay region is all gray. Now, the grayed out part is what is not loaded, okay? So any players outside of this glowing, beautiful looking circle, anyone outside of that circle is actually not loaded into my replay system. So I cannot physically go and watch those players. But you see that Mike Dog 060? I can actually go and look at him by pressing on the touchpad on the controller, and I can actually go over to that mic dog. So we're gonna try to find him. Here he is. And we can actually go and look at his character. And you will see that I am actually, I believe, hold on. I'm up in the sky a little higher, I think. Uh, da, 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 da. Where am I, where am I? Oh, there I am. There I am. So there I am, okay. So that is a little thing that you can pay attention to. Now, most players are going to be within your circle when you obviously first jump out of the game, but some of them might go all the way off over there or off over there, you know, probably make their way over to Fancy Tracks, you know, Moisty Meyer, the prison, and those characters you won't be able to actually watch and witness. It's only the players that are within your area on the map. Now that area is showcased by touching on the touchpad on the PlayStation, that little circle that is all lit up. Everything else is off limits in your replay system, okay? You can look at all the action in that circle, but anything outside of that, you can't look at. I want you all to pay attention to that because that's very important. Now, everything else is gonna be pretty easy and self-explanatory, so we're gonna run through this fairly quickly. So, now, Player outlines is going to basically, if you turn it on, any players that are behind an object, you'll be able to see a silhouette or a line of where that character is. The player region, obviously, if we turn that off, everything goes back to normal in the camera, okay? Everything is nice and colorful. You turn that off, it's nice and colorful. You turn it on, and it will show a gray void of everything that you're not able to record. Going back into that inventory, we've got damage effects. Damage effects are going to show the number of damage that you've done to a player or a player has done to you if you turn it on. If you have it off, those damage numbers will not show. That is also good to turn off if you're trying to do a cinematic. Um, same thing with player outlines and nameplates. You might want to turn all those off if you're trying to make a full-length movie to actually post onto YouTube and have it look really interesting. Next up is going to also be the auto-follow. Auto-follow is it's going to follow my character, okay? And if we have it off, then we can actually mess around with a lot more camera functions if we have it off. Distance to an object is basically just the same thing as what it says. Distance from an object, but there's a way to change this without actually having to change it in this inventory. So you actually can change that by using the trigger buttons and the bumpers and your joysticks while in the replay system and you don't even have to actually worry about that. So we'll X out of the menu, we'll actually start playing this and you can see that I can zoom out or I can zoom in no problem with the left and right trigger on my controller. Same thing goes for a mouse and keyboard. So we're gonna pause that now and we're gonna go over to the next thing which is going to be this little clock. And this little clock is gonna basically just allow you to go up and down the timeline and just instantly fast forward, okay? It's also going to go into a loading screen because you're trying to load into a different instance that wasn't loaded prior. So just let it load and you'll be good to go. Here we go, we're about to actually land and tilted. Now, the next thing is on here, this will skip to the very beginning of the video. This will skip backwards a few seconds, I believe 10 seconds, 10 or 15 seconds which we'll do it right now. Uh, nope, it was about, yep, it was about 15 seconds. So 15 seconds backwards. The triangle button is going to be on the PlayStation for play, so it will actually play. And you can also press triangle to pause. And then you can fast forward 15 seconds. 
And then you can also use the next option to skip all the way to the end of the video to showcase whether or not you won or whether or not you died. So we're not gonna do that. We're gonna move on to the next option and that is going to be the D-pad on the controller. It's gonna be something else on the keyboard, but the D-pad is going to actually speed up your video. You can actually speed up that video all the way up to four times. So if we were to play this right now, you would see it move really, really fast. So here we go. And I killed that guy. Now, I didn't want to skip past that kill. So I seen the kill. Now, maybe I want to film that as a cinematic. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually back up 15 seconds. I'm gonna let it load because it was actually just in a state of where we were trying i'm not sure why my character's not in the actual outfit it's supposed to be in but we're going to lower this back down to one times and we're going to play and this is my character and currently the costume that i was supposed to be wearing has changed that is a glitch we're going to go over to this and we're going to skip the 15 seconds skipping the 15 seconds there's my costume again. That is a very weird glitch. I've never seen that in the replay system yet, but that I guess does exist, so pay attention to that. But we're now going to play, and we're going to land on that building, and we're going to mess around with a couple of the cinematics, okay? Because right now we're in third person view, but we can actually be in drone follow. We can also be in drone attach, which will attach the drone to the character, as you can see here. We can span, but the character is going to always be attached to it. Even if I mess around with it, it's going to slightly be attached to that character. Then, I can also do Drone Free, which we're watching my character land in. We're watching my character land in. The other guy is also landing in. Look at that. I'm going behind him. I pick up that gun. Bam! And we jump over here. We jump over here. And, oh, we watch him. And we kill them. And then we kill him right there. So there you go. That is basically how the replay system works. That is the function of switching between cameras. And if you get really good at it and you remember the buttons that you're supposed to actually press, you'll notice down at the very bottom, you've got the speed, which is going to be square and circle. You've got pan, which is going to be the right joystick. You've got L, which is going to be the position, which is the position. Here you go. Pan is basically just doing this. Height is going to be L2 and R2. And yes, you can go through walls, so you can go all the way down to the ground floor to see if there's anybody there, which we will. We will right now. We'll see if anyone's here. Oh, and look, there was a guy underneath me with a shotgun. Okay, something to take note of. And then we can go down even further and see if there was another guy. So we'll just pan through here. And oh, there was a tactical SMG. We'll go down the stairs. We'll go through the floor, and there was a chest. So stuff that you wouldn't have noticed, but you now have a better way of figure out, figuring out what's happening in a game. And look at that. There was a John Wick going right into the bottom floor, and what were they about to get? Were they about to get anything useful? Uh, nope. Not even, not even some ammo. The only thing that was there was a vending machine... Uh, with, you know, a couple drinks that he could have chugged down before uh, getting shot to death. Um, going over here, nothing too interesting. But, basically, let's drone attach really quick to drone free. Go over back to my character. We're going to go to gameplay. And we are going to now play this through and mess around with a couple of the options live on camera without having any of the HUD active. So... If we're going to have the HUD active, I want to actually go back really quick. Again, we're going to go back. 15 seconds. Another 15 seconds. And we're going to fly in, and we're going to watch that kill live. And we're going to play through a little bit more of the video. So I'm going to show you what this would look like if you're trying to create a cinematic. So we're on our character. We're in the gameplay mode, but now we want to switch to something else. So we look over here, and we do this, and we pan. We look at that comet off in the distance, the sun. We see a character 
falling right below us. We're watching that guy. We're watching that guy. And then we come in. We come in hot. We come in hot. We're going to zoom out real quick. We watch and we're watching. We're watching. Oh, we grab something. We're shooting. We're shooting. We're shooting. And then blast him in the back. We switch over to our character. We pick up some stuff. Pick up some more stuff. And then we just get ready. We just get ready. We're falling. We place some C4. Boom. We flip back over to our character. We jump down. We're going for it. We're going for it. He shot at us. We're looking at it. We're looking at it. We're shooting at him. Oh, I got, I got, and oh, 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 and I died. So that's just a rough idea of the replay system. A very rough idea of the replay system. And I hope, I hope this video helps a lot of you to create some really awesome content. And if you create a really awesome clip, send it to me on Twitter. Let me take a look at it. Let me give you some feedback. I'm playing around with this an awful lot and I'm going to be practicing with it and I'm going to be trying to create some really awesome montages and gameplay clips and just create some really awesome movies based in Fortnite. Some really awesome skits might appear as well on the channel. And if you're all excited for that content, make sure to press that subscribe button. But if you have any questions on the replay system and you need some help or you need more footage on a specific topic in the replay system, make sure to leave a comment down below or hit me up on DMs on Twitter because I'm always active for every single one of you guys. I care about every single one of you guys and I want everyone to have a fun time in Fortnite. I want you guys to have a fun time with this channel. And in order to do that, I feel like I need to be there as support for you guys when you're trying to have some really awesome endeavors. You guys have supported me, so let me support you back. As always, for every single one of you, stay violent, be privileged. Oh, hi. BBG isn't here right now, but I guess you enjoyed the content. So over there is a logo you can click on. That will allow you to subscribe. More content up there and behind the scenes daily content over here on the vlog channel. There you go. Enjoy.